In previous versions of Tableau, if you wanted to view the data, you'd go to the data point you wanted to look at, hit select it, and then hit the view data button. And this is what you'd get. You'd get a table, which was actually pretty okay. You could see the detail, you had a summary view, and you had a more detailed view, which showed you the underlying data points. However, in 22.1, Tableau have taken this to 11. Let's take a look. So if I click on furniture, and I go to the exact same point. This time when I click on view data, I get the new improved view data view. I don't know if that's the right term, view data interface. Let's call it that instead. But nonetheless, you can see this is immediately so, so much better. Um, the first thing I'll tell you though, rather than just looking nicer and looking more presentable, there's a couple of customizations you can make to this. You can actually change this so that when other users click on this, they see what you basically change. So if I wanted to change the order in which these um, dimensions are appearing, I could select category here and move it to the right hand side. And when the user downloads this data, as they can do as a CSV or as a, any other file type, it actually presents it in that same order. The other thing I can do is I can add detail to this. So if I'm missing a field, maybe I want to add another field to this. I can absolutely go in here, select show fields, and I can obviously select the field that's relevant. Because this view has everything in the data source, um, everything is available, but I can go ahead and actually remove things. If I just want to make it super simple for the end user, I can just keep the fields that I want, and that is going to be there. Now, the other thing I can do is I can do some sorting. So let's say I want this to be sorted by a particular category or by a particular subcategory. I can obviously just go to this little drop down here and I can move things left and right, but I can also sort this ascending or descending. And you'll see that it sorts the entire data source using this particular order, which is a really, really, really nice touch. Now there is a little um, cog here at the bottom. And if we go and select that, you'll see that it also shows you the ability to show aliases. In some cases, if you're using aliases really heavily in your data source, that's actually going to be useful. So you'll be able to see those there. But in my particular case, I'm not seeing any aliases. So there's no problem here. I'm just using the default workbook inside of Tableau itself. Now, the last thing I'll mention about this is this little area on the left hand side. What we're looking at here is the summary view. Now, if you've built a table with a data model, what you'll get as well as a summary view are the individual tables that have built that summary. So in this case, we're not using a data model view. We're just using the standard orders table. And you can see that it actually at a row level, this is the detailed version that we used to get in the previous version. But if you're using the data model, this would also show you any additional tables that have been brought together to form the summary. So you don't just get the summary, you get the additional tables underneath it that have provided that capability. And just to show you that, look, the CSV will observe the sorting. Let's move the product name all the way to the right hand side. This time around, I use this little jump uh, button that brings it all the way to the front. You can also do the same for the end. And let's go ahead and download that to my desktop. We'll call this um, version two because I've actually already downloaded this. Um, now that's on my desktop, let me just open up the file on my desktop. You'll see that it's right there. I'll open this with Excel. Let's go ahead and do that quickly. Excel's not my default um, CSV opener here. And you can see the product name was indeed put to the very left hand side. So those Excel sheets, instead of having to get an extension to customize them, you can just do that straight away in the view. So when you publish this up, the user will get a slightly limited view of this. So it will be slightly different, but it will work really, really well. Um, I've been told that this also supports accessibility requirements. So um, I'm not sure entirely what that means. I'll have to do a little bit of testing myself to validate that. But I believe screen readers should be able to navigate this view once it's up on server and it's being viewed in an efficient way. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, we're here in the browser. I'm here in the view. I'm not actually looking at it as an editor. I'm just looking at it as an end user. So if I go to furniture and I wait for that pop-up to come up and I hit the table, you see that it actually pops up this new, it calls it like a hybrid window, but nonetheless, it's exactly the same. Essentially, they've both been built off the web view. So no surprises here. I can, of course, customize this here and move this around as well, which is really, really nice to see. But notice I'm doing this as an end user. I'm not doing this as the author. So um, this is really, really nice. People are going to be able to customize this. Now, I believe that in terms of security, if you've got the ability to see summarized data, you'll only get the summary views. And if you've got the ability to see the granular data, then you'll obviously get the full data showing up here. So this should observe all the usual security requirements of Tableau server. So just be sure to check that. Make sure you test that as a viewer, as an explorer, and make sure everything sort of meets your requirements. But that's uh, pretty much it. That's it for this new feature. Now, this is a small thing. It's a very sort of small thing, but it's amazing. It's actually a much, much, much nicer experience 
especially as we move into the web edit world. And I expect this to improve over time. Um, I'm aware that there might be some additional features added to this in the future. So that would be really, really interesting to see what Tableau comes up with. Everything that comes out with Tableau nowadays, it doesn't all come out in the first release. It always sort of takes two or three releases to sort of pan out. But here we are, this is it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. We're on our march to 50,000 subscribers. Most people who watch these videos don't actually subscribe. So if you're one of those people, support the channel and help us out. But otherwise, uh, if not, thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one.